Good morning and welcome to the Elevate Renatus team call. This is your host, Keely Austin. Today is Wealth Wednesday and as of right now, we have 36 participants on the line. Please make sure you reach out to your team. We don't want any, any ICMs left behind. So Dane Clark has a really phenomenal way of sharing his, his brain with us. I really love his style and the technique he uses. And he, he's really, really successful in this business. So what he shares with us, you want to take note and implement, and you'll start to see results because I've done the same and I've started to see some more results. So I'm so grateful that Dane spends every Wednesday morning with us to share what's working for him because it's really, really phenomenal information. Some of Dane's background before Renatus, he was working two jobs. He was working for Apple, Apple, and he was also a roofer. So for Apple, typically you're pretty outgoing and you're out on the sales floor helping customers. Well, he wasn't so good at talking to people. And so they actually had him stay in the back and just work in the back. So it's really cool to see that Dane has gone from shy to where he is now very outgoing and successful. And then as a roofer with fair skin, red hair, being in this little day was definitely not his cup of tea. So he, he ended up doing that because that's what his dad did. At the time, he was barely making ends meet, so he started to look for other income opportunities, and he found Renatus. He plugged into the Renatus system, listened to his mentor, and applied Velocity Banking to pay down debt. He then used that as leverage as a down payment for a duplex and lived in one side while renting out the other. Fast forward to today, now Dane has raised over $12 million from investors, to lend on various real estate transactions. And his secret to that is consistency and frequency. He's grown his team. He is recognized by our CEO, Bob Snyder, as a key leader. He's on the pit, meaning he is training to be on the PAC, which was President's Advisory Council. And again, we're so fortunate to get to learn from Dane this morning. Good morning, Dane. Good morning, Keely. How are you doing? I am doing awesome, thank you. How are you? Oh, good. I'm doing so good. Good morning, Renatus Nation. Wealth Wednesday. So happy to be here as always. I hope you all have had an awesome, awesome week. I had a couple of people reach out to me after that, uh, after that training last week and, uh, and so was able to answer a few questions. I hope um, that everybody, if, if you didn't get your questions answered from last week, I hope you're here today and, and you ask them, especially in front of everybody, because this way they're recorded, this way everybody can see them and, and we can just document. So other, like, like Keely said, people can go back and say, and say hey, I, you know, I, I need this, I need that. And, and people can refer back to it, or especially I can refer back to it. Say, oh, catch this training, catch that training. Uh, we talked about this pretty extensively, but, but good morning, everybody. Again, you guys know the drill. In fact, um, if, uh, if you already know what to do, just start texting. If you're new to the call, I love, I love the interaction on these calls. I don't, I don't want to just sit here and yik yak and this and that and tell stories and whatever. Although I do have a really cool one from yesterday, but, uh, uh, so if we have time, I'll share, but share with me how many people were you able to connect with, to talk to, to bring up the conversation about Renatus, whether you brought them to an event, whether you, uh, whether you took them through and, and did a one-on-one -on -one yourself or had them go through the, the video series with Bob Snyder or Michael Huggins or Scott Rowe or whoever. Uh, so chime in and, and tell me how many people you were able to chat with. I'm a big believer in accountability and I do it every week. I even report my zeros just so I keep myself honest. And so awesome, we got a bunch of people chiming in. Thank you guys. So let's see, let's give some love here. Amy had five in the last seven days. Esther had two, Levi had one, Bruce Holt had a goose egg. Way to be honest, brother. Renee had two, Keely had two guests and one follow-up. Great job. Kenneth, Kenneth had five. Great job as well. Uh, David and Gilda had two one-on-ones. Awesome, guys. I love, I love to see, I love to see those one-on-ones. That's where business is closed. 
Uh, David Rainey had four. Rick had three one-on-ones, two new ICMs. Awesome. In fact, um, Rick, I may, if, if we get into it, if we get into it, I may have some, some things for you, if, if, uh, especially if you are a five-star, if you're a one-star, three-star, or five-star. Uh, Cecilia had three. Great job. Cheryl. Cheryl. Cheryl had 12. In fact, Cheryl, if you can, if you can come off of mute, will you come off of mute and tell us what you did to, to get 12 people in front of Renata's stuff in the last seven days? Um, if you can, come off of mute. Just interrupt me. Matiana Hi, had a goose egg. Evan had a goose egg. Hey, Cheryl. Well, I guess you can't hear me. Yeah. I got the mic Yes, on. I can hear you. You can hear me now? Okay, well, we use uh -huh. Meetup a lot, and I have new contacts, uh -huh. and I also have a ton of old contacts, and I'm just refiltering through all of my contacts to get people to meeting. Oh, I love it. Now is the time to be doing that. Lives have changed, right? I love it. Cool. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, let's see. Anne had three. Um, oh, my pleasure. Thank you for coming off of mute. Let's see. Kenneth had a question. Do you generally send a prospect to an intro before a one-on-one -on -one, or do you have a one-on-one? Aha, -on -one? uh -huh, great question. So uh, we covered this fairly extensively. I can't remember if it was two weeks ago um, or, or was it last week? I can't remember. Last week or the week before, we covered this pretty extensively, but to sum it up for you, I mean, go watch that. But to sum it up for you, I will never, ever, ever sit down with somebody unless they already know that it, that this could cost up to twenty three thousand dollars. You know, in in that range, this could cost anywhere from two thousand to twenty three thousand. Well, using billing twenty eight thousand seven hundred fifty. Right, I will never, ever sit down with somebody unless unless they know that it's going to cost money because if i sat down with everybody that's interested in getting into real estate i would sit down with a lot of people and i would come out the back end uh, with not a lot of people that are like oh yeah let's do this right and so i try to filter them i filter them pretty good you know i, I will not meet with them however um kenneth and everybody I will schedule the meeting. I will schedule the one-on-one. -on -one. I say, hey, if you want to sit down and let's talk some real estate and let me show you how myself and people around me are just killing it in this business right now, then let's sit down on Wednesday or Thursday afternoon on a Zoom call and, and I will show you what I and a bunch of people around me are doing that are just killing it, even with what's going on right now. And we'll sit down. Can you make that Thursday, you know, at 1 p.m. on a Zoom call? And they're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I would love to do that. All right, cool. Let's, I'm going to send you a calendar invite. What's your email? All right, that's how I get their email. Uh, hopefully, I already have their phone, so I don't even have to ask. And then I'll, and then I'll be like, oh, oh, wait. Before, before I let you go, are you okay if I give you something to go through before we meet? And they, I've never had anybody say, no, no, I'm not okay with that. I, they, they always say, oh, yeah, I'll go through something before me. I say, cool, I'm going to send you something that's going to talk about, like, how I'm getting my start this way. Send, you know, they're going to share some stories, and, and they're going to teach you some strategy that I've been following to, to get myself into this awesome situation, whether, whether you're already there or you're getting yourself there, right? It doesn't matter. And... And so they say, yes, yes, yes. I would love to, I would, I would love to go through that. I say, great. And you're sure you can watch that before we meet on Thursday, right? That's only like 24 hours ish. And they say, oh yeah, I could go through that. I could go through that before we meet. I say, great. And so I send them the long version. I send them the, the hour long version, you know, give or take. Not just the briefing, because the, because the hour long version, you know, from Michael or Bob, it drops price. It tells them, hey, this, this could cost money. 
if you're interested in hustling alongside other hustlers, then this, this is going to cost, you know, this is going to take a little investment, right? And so they show up to the meeting and they already know that. They already know, hey, this costs money, right? And some people will cancel, right? I had, uh, in fact, just this Monday. Um, in fact, here, let me share my screen. Uh, whoops, whoops, I put myself on mute. Let's share screen, actually. There we go, share screen. So let me give you an example of me doing this. And oh, let's see, the guy's name was Spencer. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Spencer Bradley. He says, hi, Dane, this is Spencer. I'm going to have to cancel our Zoom meeting tomorrow. After viewing the video uh, you sent, I quickly recognize this since I have been to your partner's training before, and I frankly have no interest in no interest in joining Renata, so I don't want to waste your time or my time, right? So there's a perfect example of somebody who watched it and they weeded themselves out. And so I'm just like, sweet, thanks. And I delete that on my calendar and I go, and I go, I work on finding somebody else, right? He's just not interested, right? And life, life because he's not interested in getting involved in Renatus, you guys have seen my um, four box training, if you will. Life is going to slap him in the face. And it's clear to me that uh, when he watched my, you know, AKA my partner's training, I don't know what he's necessarily referring to, but, but uh, when he watched, when he watched that, I, I learned that it was years ago that he did watch that. And, um, and then to back that up, he has not done any real estate. <laughs> and so I'm like, I'm like well, what do you want? <laughs> I mean, there's nothing I can do to change his mind and I'm not going to try, right? Especially right now, I'm looking for people who want what I have. I'm looking for people who are, who think like me, who, who want to hustle like me, right? And so rejection is, I mean, it's, you, you got to look for it, right? Don't go, I, I maybe should say look for it, right? Don't, don't go out there and be like, I want rejection, right? But in a way you kind of do because that's the only way that you're going to weed people out and find the ones you want. There's no magic bean that you can take to say, that basically says only, I will only talk to the people who want what I have. There, there's no magic bean to, to find those people first and always, never, ever, ever. You got to find people like Spencer. Okay. Because then the very next, um, uh, actually, no, let's see. Uh, I think it was earlier that day. Oh, the very next day, right? Yesterday, right? The very next day, I meet a guy. His name, his name is Brayden. Here, let me go back to my text messages. Go back to my text messages here. And let's go to Brayden. Um. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, Brayden, same thing. Hey, watch this video before we meet on, on Tuesday night. And he goes, okay, yeah, watches the meeting, goes through the video, watches stuff. And he says, yesterday, before a meeting, hey, do you mind if I have a friend sit in on the Zoom? I sent him your video and he watched it, right? So he watched the video and he's like, dude, this is cool. And so he sent it to his buddy and said, hey, watch this. And you show up to the mind, I'm going to meet with this. I'm going to meet with these uh, real estate investor hustlers because, you, you know, you and I have been talking that we both want to get into real estate. And, and he's like, and so he sends it to his buddy and his buddy's super excited. He's like, yeah, this is cool. Tell me more about that bossy banking thing that they talk about in that, in that training video. Right. And so, so I hope this is helping because, because it, I get rejection all the time. I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for, this is so funny. I don't think you even asked this question. I think you asked me, <laughs> I think you asked me, uh, do you, do you send the video first? <laughs> and I, well, I hope that was helpful. I hope that was helpful, uh, Kenneth and everybody else. But uh, but yeah, all right. LaShawn had three prospects. <laughs> oh, what an awesome tangent. Um, let's see. I haven't talked. I haven't talked to the report, but I committed to be active this week. Great job, Berta. Good job. Good job. Love it. 
Uh, Benta had one last night. Uh, thanks for the love, Ada or Ada. Let, let me know how to pronounce your name, Ada or Ada. I've seen you on here several times. Uh, let's see. More questions. What, from what he is saying, he has already viewed a video or intro from someone else and something caused him to not have interest and he didn't like, yes, exactly, Ahmed. Exactly. All right, cool. I have something across the best show to grab and they're the best process to see this. Where is the intro video that you prefer to send? So I like, I like either the Bob Snyder one or I like um, the, the Michael Huggins one. And both of those are in Helios or, um, oh, let's see, or Michael has his on a YouTube channel on the Elevate Renatus YouTube channel. Um, yeah, thank, thank you. So Ada, Ada. Uh, yeah, it's on YouTube. Michael's are on the YouTube. And Bob's, oh my gosh, I, I just like saved them. Does anybody know how to find Bob Snyder's for the first time? By chance, chime into the chat. Um, oh, you know what? I don't know. I don't know if Michael's has profits. You have to use your I don't hands. know any. Then mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. for Bob go Snyder ahead. to find, they need to go to their own website. Like I did my own website. Yeah, their own. Amp okay, yeah, yeah. You, so oh, so you got you create your link. That's right. So you create your and link and put or them your in the web campaign. page. Yeah, using the Helios, and it's in the automated campaigns in Helios, and that's how you can find that. Awesome, awesome. I'm getting some. I'm getting some love. Thank you so much for the tangent. All that. Oh, you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. All right, all right, cool. So, Dane, what are the four the groups? That, sorry, Dane. What are the four groups you put people in? Oh, you're fine. The four boxes. Um, I'm sorry. Tell you what. I no, you're fine, dude. I uh, in fact, I've been I've been feeling that it's it's uh, it's time to bring this up again because I haven't really taught on this for a few months, and I, things have changed a little bit because I'm always always learning. Right. I hope you guys. I hope the most the the best thing that you could learn from me saying this is that I have. Um, I think Kenneth touched on this a little bit, just like I have all these things and I want just like a clear process to do it over and over and over again. I hope all of you have some kind of a process, even if it's just like baby steps or, or very, very watered down. Because if you look at my success over the last four years, if you looked at my system in the beginning, I was really just taking action and I was just talking to people. And, and I would have a lot of people that were like Spencer, that were like, nah, I'm not interested in that. And I had some people who were like, oh my gosh, I want this. I, I've been looking for this. You know, I just, I just got, uh, um, I, I wish I had time to just pull up all these text messages that I get because they're across the board everywhere. And I just got somebody who texted me like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. You know, she just bought her Epix combo. And she's like, I've been looking for something like this for 20 years. Right. So I, I got I get these things all across the board from just talking to people, people that have been looking for this, people that are not looking for this. Um, and so and so I have that system. And so we'll talk about that. Thank you for asking. Uh, but first, I want to I want to help mentor somebody. Right. And you, you guys know I do this every single week. I want let's bring somebody out. And, and and whether you've had an experience in the last seven days that you're just you just got stumped. Maybe you. Uh, you know, maybe you're struggling with a mindset. Maybe you're, you, you know, you need some help um, creating your system. I guarantee, you know, just like people ask the questions and I went on this big, long tangent. I got tons of love from people like, oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that tangent. Right. This is why we do this because this, this is your guys' meeting, right? This is your wealth Wednesday, just as much as it is mine. And so somebody come off a mute, just interrupt me. And because I'll just sit, sit here and yik yak, I don't want like awkward silence, um, okay. even, even though it's probably good to practice it. But yeah, go ahead, brother. Hey, I just wanted to say I got a text. Somebody told me stop today. I always get happy when people opt out. My list get more qualified. But um, what I wanted to ask you is I had a one on one with someone last week. And they mm -hmm. told me that they were ready to go. They're ready to get started. 
and that they just wanted to wait till um, later this month when, a, when they get paid and they want to get started with the essentials. And I came to find out that they have a lot of credit. Um, they said, I got so much credit. I don't have any debt. Everything's paid off. I said, why don't you just get started now and just pay it off before you even get charged interest. And they said they didn't want to do that. And they went as far as to say that they really believe in a product and in me, but they didn't want to use their credit card. So what I don't I want to know what the balance is mm -hmm. of giving a little more pushback or just saying all right we'll wait. Always questions. Always the answer is questions because something and this is where this is where you get to become a detective and and this is like the moment this is the pivotal moment where somebody will decide whether you care about them and their situation and what's going on or look at you as just a pushy salesman right so so here's that moment because uh, if you just push them push them push them don't do it do it do it then they're like ah you know well i told you i had concerns uh, and here's the here's the interesting thing right if you even look at yourself sometimes you don't even know what your own concerns are like let's say you're let's say you're looking to buy something sometimes you don't even know sometimes they don't either and and so this is the moment where questions are always the answer and so when you ask a question like like cool well yeah is there is there any reason or or what what would be the reason why you wouldn't want to do this now and then you and then you shut up right even even and this is why i say you know i should i should you know, I should be okay with the awkward silence, even on my trains with, you know, 50, 100 people, however many we got on here. Um, and, and just shut up and listen. Game. Because Game. again, if, if they already know, then it's going to pop into their mind very, very quickly. And, and so, um, here, I'm just going to mute everybody and, and you come back off the mute, David. So, so it's, uh, it's going to, if, if they already know what that is and you ask that question, bam, comes to the forward of their, or the front of their mind and they'll share. But let's say they don't know, right? They're just, they have this feeling that, oh, I just want to, right? and you ask that question, then you actually trigger the subconscious mind to go search and search and search and search. And, and sometimes you'll help them uncover that you're like, you know what? There's nothing that, you know, there's nothing that's really, or, or it'll pull something out that's like, oh my gosh, like, you know, maybe a past story oftentimes is what's going on there. Maybe a current life situation can yeah, be think... what's going on there. Like, you know, like quick, you know, quick story here. I had a guy that, that was texting me and, and I actually, I, I totally failed on this. Um, but he, he texted me and said, Hey, like, you know, same, same thing. I said, watch the video. Let's meet, you know, Tuesday, whatever time. And he texted me a few hours before and he's like, Hey man, I watched the video. And I just, I just can't waste your time right now. Like, I just can't do this. This, you know, this is not for me right now. And I was like, I was a little, I was a little ticked. I was like, dude, couldn't you have told me that like yesterday or, you know, I mean, we're, we're, we got like an hour or two before our meeting. And I, you know, now, now I'm going to have to open up and have this blank space in my calendar, you know, and fill it with something else, you know, so I was a little bit, I was a little bit ticked. And, and so I was just like, yeah, you know, I was, I was nice. I was at least nice. I was like, oh, you know, that's, that's okay. You know, not everything, just not for everybody all of some, you know, right now, but, you know, and then just kind of left that door open, like, hey, like, if you ever decide you want to hustle, you know, let me know, you know, and then and he never wrote back. And, and uh, the, the gentleman that I'm also working on, this person with he you know he piped up and and asked him the question and and said you know why 
why, uh, why, why don't, you know, what's, what's going on? And, and then the guy got real and he's like, well, my, uh, my wife just got (laughs) COVID-19 and, and she's going to the hospital and she's pregnant and, and I just lost my job. She's got lost her job. She's pregnant with COVID. And so I'm just like, oh my gosh, like how terrible I felt terrible. Because again, I didn't ask the question to understand. And so, so again, the reason he said, no, not right now, I was clueless because I didn't ask the question, right? That was a very good learning moment for me. I mean, this is even recent, you know, uh, obviously. And to, again, always, always seek understanding, always be a detective, right? So I hope that helps, David. Become that detective. Why, 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 why? How, 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 how? Why, why, why? You know, tell me more. I love that question. Tell me more about that. And again, you trigger their subconscious mind to go search inside. So awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> let me check. Let me check comments again. Do, 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 do. Uh, Michael's up there here, Libra. I, I am not sure if they are updated. I would guess no. I would guess they're working on that. Um, let's see, Rick, you are a five-star. Great. Um, thank you, Levi. Love you, brother. All right, all right. Here we go. So quick quick training here. Now, I got two requests, but I, I, want, I want to talk about two different things. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'll just, I'll just morph them into one, okay? Because the, the question I had was these, these four boxes, right? And so... Um, I, every single human, every single human that is inside of the United States, or I guess technically even a, still a citizen, but not in the United States. I've actually got students in Japan that are in the military and, uh, and they're going through their classes. And as soon as they get back to, to the Americas, they're excited to hit the ground and run it. Right. And so they're just, they're building their systems now. And, and, the, and but anyway, you guys get it. So any human. Well, I guess technically now with profits, it's around the world. But, but anyway, let's, let's talk about this. So any human, when you drop the words investing in real estate, just like that, do not say real estate investor, investing in real estate, put investing first, just creates better intrigue. Okay, so investing in real estate, I don't care what you say before that phrase, I don't care what you say after that phrase, this is the phrase, investing in real estate. And so you say that to people and they are going to respond, right? They, they've got past stories or maybe none at all and they've got curiosity. Um, they've got past uh, experiences, they've got past where they've heard other people's stories or watched other people, right? They have a relationship to this phrase. So our job is to find out what is it? What is your relationship to this phrase? So the first type of person, I actually just talked to somebody yesterday that uh, I broke a personal record and uh, I call them the passive investor. And so I met Deborah. She goes by Deb, spunky lady. I mean, she's, you know, she's, a, she's, a, she's old enough to be a grandma and started investing in real estate before I was alive. And she became a millionaire because she started investing in real estate. You know, some of the properties she bought for $30,000, $40,000 out, uh, I think she said it was California, you know, in, in the midst of a depression. Um, and those properties tripled, quadrupled in value over the next 10 years. And she was a real estate millionaire. It was, it was a super cool story. But anyway, so I call these people, so like Deborah, she obviously has money. And so she's got a lot of cash. Um, and and she's, she's like, you know what, though? I, I've already spent my time hustling. And so I want to transition from hustling to, I call these the thumb twiddlers, right? I want, she's like, I want to start, I want to transition from what I'm doing, active, boots on the ground to twiddle my thumbs 
and I want to, I just want to make money passively. And so I said, well, the best way I know how to be passive is actually not a rental property. A rental property is very active. Even if you have a property manager, you still got to, you still, you still own bricks and sticks. And so either you, or you got to pay somebody to manage the maintenance of that property, right? If you own bricks and sticks, you are an active investor. Okay. So landlords, fix and flippers, you name it. So passive is basically a bank. That's it. That's the only thing I can really think of. Or, uh, you know, I could even say like uh, investing in um, tax liens, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay. But, but uh, when we're talking big, big amounts of money, we're talking lending. And so I was telling her about what I've been doing, you know, put all this money to work. And so I, again, I had that conversation, investing in real estate. She came through a referral because I'm always, always, always talking to all, all different types of these people and telling them, hey, here's how I can help people. And so she came as a referral from another person who was an active investor who I pitched on Renatus and he said, no, I'm not interested. And I said, well, I'll tell you what, here's how you can help. Or here's how you can, here, no, here's how you can still, uh, you know, either help me, help you, or, you know, the money for yourself. And so here's what I'm looking for. These three different types of people. And, he's like, and so a week later, he says, cool, let me introduce you to Deborah. And so I talked to Deborah. And so we chat and I learned very quickly that that's where she is. I mean, cause he, you know, he even told me that this is where she is. And so we said, all right, let's have a conversation. And so we chatted for 78 minutes yesterday on a zoom call. And now I usually this does not take me 78 minutes. Usually this takes me like 45 minutes because I've watched, I've watched Jay Massey's class. I've watched, um, um, Matt Sorensen's class. I've watched Kendall Stock's class in all these money, these money classes, basically, and, and handling and raising and, and pitching. And, um, and so Jay, Jay Massey has three different classes that I've watched. Matt Sorensen has one and, and Kendall Stock has one. And so, ooh, you know what? And Gavin McCaleb actually gave me a really good mindset as well for this stuff. Gavin McCaleb's is actually his foreclosures class, but and it, it has, I mean, it has nothing to do with like putting money together, but he dropped some lines in there that made all the difference for me. But anyway, so I've watched all these classes. So usually this is, this is a long time, 78 minutes. And the only reason is Deb is a talker. Like she loves to share her story and I love to listen to it. And so we talked and talked and talked and I went through and so, in fact, here, let me show you our conversation from yesterday. And so we, we share this, we share that. I, I say, hey, you know, this is what we do. This is how we structure it. This is what, here's our, here's our exit strategies. Because, you know, and again, in Renatus, they teach you, you got to have, you only get into properties that you got options, right? You know, it's like, it's like the, the, uh, the wife in a, a marriage she wants options, right? Anybody that's married that is a gentleman knows exactly what I'm talking about. Or, I mean, you, you ladies know too, you want options. And so um, I learned that from my wife. And so I, I tell her, you know what? Plan A, we sell. Plan B, we refinance. Plan C, I'll take care of it. And plan D, take it, right? Because you're the bank, take it. And so if, if you have to take it, then you sell it. If or if, you know, maybe you didn't get finished, then you do repairs and, or you sell a finance or worst case scenario, you keep it as a rental property, right? So I say, I only, I will only invest in properties. Again, this one's from um, uh, Brian Sump. I hope all of you have just listened to Brian Sump's classes because uh, he goes into this very, very deeply. Market analysis class, as well as his subject two classes. But anyway, uh, options. I will only buy a property that I could flip or turn into a rental. And so let's say my plan A, so, you know, bought a, bought a property last week. Plan A is rental. Plan B is I could sell it as a flip if I wanted to. You know, it might take a little bit more work, but, but you know, that's fine. Anyway, so share that with her. I said, oh, and here's how it works. So I'm out there busting it 
and take, I took this from Chris Albin. In fact, I don't want to draw on this because I got an email to her. Uh, so to learn this one from Chris Albin, all, all I do as an investor is find deals, analyze them, make offers and find yeses, right? And then we go through the due diligence and I present the deal to you, you like it. You know, uh, we get an attorney involved every single time, DocuSign, wire to escrow, and then the escrow company takes our, they take our docs, they take our, you know, anyway, so, and this is how it works. And so I said, all right, Deb, the only thing I need to know from you is if you like this, and if you like this, then here's what, here's the next step. Then next is I need to know, you know, how do you want to show up on title? And so she's, you know, she starts, she actually starts listing off as I'm going through this, she starts listing out, Oh, do it like this. And so I actually switched over to another app where I actually track all this stuff where I'm, I'm dealing with people. And so I just started putting her information in and usually, I shouldn't say usually, 50% 50, 50 of the time, I, and I do it like this on purpose, right? I learned from these gentlemen that in, in the Renata's classes that when you do it like this, sometimes they'll close themselves while you're talking. And so um, I ask her, I say, you know, just so I know, that here, here's my phrase, just so I know what I can and can't commit to, because I'm out there, you know, hustling for you to find deals make offers, analyze them, I need to know what I can and can't commit to. And so I need some kind of a dollar amount. And she goes, ah, let's just start with 250,000. Is that okay? And I was like, great. Let's do that. So I fill it in. Oftentimes, I shouldn't say oftentimes, 50% of the time, I still leave this blank when, when I email it because, you know, people got to, you know, people are like, oh, well, let me think about it. You know, let me think about it. And, and I say, cool. If, if they don't give me this, then I'll say, cool. Most people really need to let this stew for like 24 hours. And so if you can get me back, you know, this, these things that you like it, how you want to show up on title and some kind of a dollar amount uh, with $75,000 or more, you know, that, that's my, that's my number. If, if somebody has $75,000, um, then I'll be like, yeah, I think we could work together. If it's anything less, it's just, it's just a waste of time anymore. Now I don't, I, you know, the first time I was raising money, Somebody said, Hey, I got 15, 20,000, 25,000. I was like, great. You know, thank you. Let's, let's do this. All right. But now I don't even, I won't even get out of bed uh, for anything less. And so she fills in. And so I say, all right, next step is the most important one. I'm going to go find a deal. I'm going to get to work and let's, let's get, you know, so, and so there's, there is what that looks like. Let's go back to here to Wealth Wednesday. Right. And so passive investor, active investor. These are the people that as you're talking to them, they, they, the first thing they say to you when you say these words, investing in real estate is, oh my gosh, I've always wanted to do that. Or, oh my gosh, I love real estate investing or, oh my gosh, you know, they get excited. Right. So both of these people get excited, but for different reasons, this person wants to twiddle their thumbs. This person wants to hustle. And so the, the commodity that they want to invest in the investing in real estate industry is time. And so these are the people that are like all of us on this call. We are all hustlers and we want to hustle. We want to buy stuff. You know, we want to buy stuff. We want to buy properties. We want to find them. We want to analyze them. We want to make offers and make money with our time invested in the property, right? And, and this is the best time for dollars I've ever experienced in my life in the real estate investing world. And so we want to spend that time. Now I've noticed that these people, sometimes they have money and sometimes they don't, right? So if, if, uh, and, and so you can fill in the blank here because this box obviously looks familiar to you. And so for me, this is, this was me. I told my five star, my enroller in Renatus that I wanted to invest time. I wanted to buy rental properties and, oh, you're flipping houses so that you can buy rental properties. Okay. I want to, I want to flip houses so I can buy rental properties too. I learned that I, I, I learned after trying to do a couple of flips that that's not really my thing. And I was just trying to do what somebody else was doing that was successful. And I learned that that's not the smartest way to go about it, right? Don't, don't just try to copy somebody else just because they're doing it. Figure out what you want to do and go find somebody that's doing that and then copy them, right? I, I had to learn the hard way 
because I didn't want to flip houses. I just, I changed my mind because I saw somebody having success flipping houses and said, Oh, I want to do that too. I don't like flipping houses personally. Not my thing. Um, but I had to learn hard. Anyway, you guys get it. So, so there was my, there was my situation investing time. I didn't have any money. And so these, they're also, so I, I mentioned that the way I met Deborah was I ran into a property manager. I would consider a property manager, a hustler, even if the property manager doesn't want to own any real estate himself. And for example, he told me no when he when I showed him Renatus. We did the one on one. I even showed him how Velocity Banking, you know, because because Velocity um, Renatus has the new Velocity Banking app and all that stuff that you can show people. And so he learned that he could pay his house off in the next five years by using Velocity Banking, and he still said no to Renatus. And I was dumbfounded. But again, I don't, I don't hate, I don't hate on anybody. And so I just say, cool. And I'll find somebody else. Right. I wish you could see the, I wish you could see my facial expression when I, as I, as I say that, but you know, whatever. Um, so property manager, realtor, these people, again, these people might not be hustlers in investing in real estate, but these guys are hustlers in their own business and they will serve your real estate investing business, just like this property manager, like, yeah, he might not manage any of my properties, but he is in the trenches serving other real estate investors. And this person is like a, an avenue to connect you to other people. Like, like this property manager introduced me to Deb and I set a, a personal record of $250,000 in 78 minutes literally just met the gal and, and within 78 minutes, she said, eh, two, let's start with 250,000. Okay. And so property manager, realtor, title agent, um, attorney that serves investors. Uh, oh my gosh. Like inspector who I love inspectors, insurance agent that loves investors. Oops. Insurance. Okay, you guys get it. The, the list goes on. Ooh, banker. Uh, I've, I've received several real estate deals from bankers. But, but uh, anyway, hustlers. So they're either a service-based business where they serve real estate investors or they want to become a real estate investor. Or, like a lot of people in Renatus, they're both. They are a realtor that invests in real estate or a title agent that invests in real estate or an inspector that invests in real estate. My favorite inspector that I call every single time is a real estate investor. Okay. So these are the active people. These are the ones that, you know, you introduce Renatus to, uh, to uh, them every single time, right? You introduce it to them early, often show them what's possible because either they're going to join Renatus or they are like me. So here, if I, if I put myself down here at the bottom of this list, I'm not any of these things. I'm not a licensed anything. I just want to be an investor and I want to hire all these people. I want to hire the banker, insurance agent, inspector, attorney, title agent, realtor, property manager. Okay. I'm just an investor, but I also have the most time between all these people. Right. But anyway, so you guys get that. So all these people will be either interested in Renatus or they're serving other investors and they will connect you to people that want to talk to you. And so there's the active box. The third box is, you know, it closed on a property just last week. Property manager. Or sorry, property problem is what I call it. So, so Seth had a problem. Now this can be, there could be two types of problems, right? This doesn't, it doesn't matter if they have time or money. They have a property, they have a problem that is just, it, it's almost like having a balloon in front of their face. You can't really see anything else. It's right there in front of their face. And so when you, they've got a big problem like this, then they've got to solve that before they can think about anything else. And so, so either 
option or, or usually avenue one is they have a problem that has been caused by some kind of life uh, situation or experience or, you know, a, a life event, just circumstance, right? So let's, let's talk about that. So either one, the, the problem is just circumstance and they own real estate that is just either making it worse or is just a headache, right? And so in, in the, the property that I just bought last week, I think I've shared about this one. Um, this is one that uh, literally zero down for, for myself and $98,000 of instant equity can refinance and literally get any money back that I will spend on it, you know, I'll do some rehab and stuff like that. In fact, we're going through that right now, um, getting a few of the, of the services, if you will, of people going in there. And, and anyway, so, so circumstance, right? It was something else that was causing him grief. He was trying to use the equity in his house for himself to, to solve this other problem. And the banks said, no. And I, and I said, yes, because there was enough equity in there to go around for it to make, make it worth my time and make it worth his time. And so I was able to give him a bunch of his equity and he was able to take care of that other circumstance in his life and, and solve that problem. And now he can breathe and he can think about, you know, the next chapter or sometimes the property itself is the thorn in their side. But either way, there's a property involved. Okay. When there's a property involved and a problem, then we can help. And so we analyze the deal, you know, just, just like I share in Deb's situation, we find these people and when we find them, we analyze the, the property on what we can do to come up with creative solutions, right? With, with Seth, this Seth is the guy's name. Um, we started, we started this way and said, Hey, I got a solution for you. And then the more I learned, I was like, Oh no, 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 let's go this way. And then as we, as we went, we said, Oh no, no you know what? It, let's, let's try to go this way. And then we ended right here. Right. And, oh, I'll do this. Okay. And so originally he's like, yeah, I think that makes sense. And Oh yeah, I think that makes sense. And again, the more we learned about his situation and, and the opportunity, you know, we, we went here from there all the way to um, the offer was, well, I guess the original offer was cash. The original offer is, all right, I'll pay cash. And then later on in the, in the situation, we, see, we said, you know what, how about I just buy your house subject to? So I bought it using his mortgage subject to the existing mortgage and we were able to close. And so, so I'm not sure who, who I got off of mute here. Mute all. There we go. Um, anyway, so bought it subject to the existing mortgage and, and so on and so forth. Anyway, you guys get it. These are the people that have a problem, whether that problem is real estate or they have real estate that's just that either could solve their problem or make it go away either way. Um, and you can help them. And so again, I found this guy from talking to a lender. And again, you know, again, you, you, you introduce Renatus to all of these people, whether they are service-based people or they seem to be like yourself, where they just want to get into it. You just say, oh my gosh, I got, I got something for you. I got something that I think you would be very interested to see. And, and so you talk to them and you either on the, on the back end, you either get a sale in Renatus and they're like, you know what, I'm going to be a hustler just like you. And I'm going to do this. And so you either get a sale in Renatus or you get referrals for these other two commodities or other people like this. Okay. And so, so for example, the guy that's like, Oh, I got my buddy. So he is a, a, an electrician. He's an electrician that wants to invest in real estate. His buddy is, is, you know, basically just wants to invest in real estate. And so, so he sent that referral. Anyway, you guys get this. I hope this is helping. Last but not least, and right here at the top of the hour here, um, is the person that said, like Spencer, 
right? This is Spencer that you guys saw. Hey, dude, I'm not interested in real estate. And so I'm like, you know what? I don't care if he has time. I don't care if he has money. Get out of my face, dude. Like, I don't, I'm, like I'm not going to waste my time. I'm going to let life's circumstances slap Spencer in the face a few times. And then we will be able to chat again later because this box is the one that I call the not, let's actually do a, a better color here. Let's do this, not interested yet. Spencer's not interested yet. When he, no, I did not meet him the first time that he was introduced to Renatus. He met me. And I choose to believe positive things about myself that I know how to help Spencer. And so here's what I'm going to do for Spencer. I'm going to be, you know, and, and I, you know, this already happened. And uh, no worries, man. No worries. It's fine. It's fine. You know, whatever. We'll shake hands, part his friends. But I'm going to send him a deal. Hey, man, just closed on this deal right here. Send him a deal. Send him a success. Hey, man, I just raised $250,000 in 78 minutes. Hey, man, I just closed another deal. Hey, man, my friend just closed another deal. Hey, man, my friend just raised another half a million dollars, you know, $50,000. Hey man, my I I just bought a a house using you know somebody else's mortgage. Hey man, I just you know so you see where I'm going with this? He's gonna he eventually he's gonna be like holy crap, dude! I want in because he, he hasn't done anything for two years, and I can see that. And so he he basically said, hey, I'm not interested. I'm gonna you know whatever what I don't I don't know what his plan is probably not anything other than I want to get into this. And, and so eventually he's going to be like, all right, dude, here's my money. Take my money. All right. I've had that several times, several times where people are like, take my money. <laughs> I'm ready to get into this. But, but here's the thing to remember is I love Spencer. This, this guy's got a warm place in my heart. Because right now, he's not interested in getting into Renatus. He's interested in getting into real estate investing, but he's not doing it. This mindset is going to be overpaying for his real estate. In other words, and I happen to know this, he is currently renting, right? I love people like this. I love tenants. Even though Spencer's not renting from me, that type of a mindset that type of a person is making a real estate investor somewhere wealthy. And so I love Spencer because he is supporting my people, right? I don't even know who that real estate investor is, but I love the fact that Spencer is of the mindset right now that he is making real estate investors around the world wealthy or people like Spencer, I should say are making real estate investors around the world wealthy people. And so I love Spencer, right? Or let's say they buy a house retail value. They made somebody, if, if somebody flipped a house, they made, they made some flipper somewhere wealthy. You know, he's, he's supporting my kind, my people. Even if they're not in Renatus, they're still investors of, of real estate. And I, those are my people. I love them whether they're in Renatus or not. And so these people that are not interested yet, I love them because they make me rich. They make me very, 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 very wealthy. I mean, I've never been able, I've never had any, I've never had more money in my life at any other time other than when I became educated through Renatus and started taking action in helping other students. I mean, that's how I got, that's how I made my first money was helping other, other people become students. And then as I learned how to, how to help somebody become a student, I learned how to help somebody get into real estate deals alongside me, you know, raising money or helping them, you know, make an offer on their home or, you know, just being this connector of people, right? And so 
So here is the, here's where I spend most of my time, honestly. I spend most of my time looking for people who are actively engaged in investing in real estate, whether they're serving other real estate investors or they just want to be an investor in real estate like myself. Because these people lead to these people. This is how I find all my deals. This is how I find all my money to do deals is spend most of my time, in other words, talking about Renatus, <laughs> talking about the hustle, the side hustle, if, if, if it is that for people, and it leads to more things for myself. And yes, I spit out a lot of these ones, right? If, if I were to rate how many, how many people I have the most of, so here is, this is where I have the most people, this is where I have the second most people. This is where I have the third most people. And here's where I have the fourth most people. Okay. I would dare venture to say that you will be the same. The most people will fall not interested yet, not interested yet, and then active, and then people with property problems, and then people that just want to twiddle their thumbs and make money on their money. Okay. So let me check comments here really fast. Got a ton of them. And then I know we're at the top of the hour, so we got a jet. A couple more reasons for that. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Levi. Uh, what are you saying when someone says, I don't want to finance and get into debt? I like the education. I want to start making money fast, and I'm not interested in the referral side. Um, I say, well, Renatus actually just came out with a way to just pay for it over time, and it's not a loan. It's not, there's no interest. There's no interest. Actually, actually you know what? I think it is kind of like a loan. So don't say that. Don't say it's not a loan. But yeah, just, yeah, like it's, just say it's no interest. Because you can just say either you can, you know, let's say they just do one on to do essentials. Either, either you can pay $2,000 or you can, over, over the next 18 months, you can pay $2,500 but there's no interest, right? You, you just pay for it over time and, uh, and get yourself started. No, no early payoff fees, no interest. Literally, you just make 18 payments that the total amount will be that $2,500, not a penny more, not a penny less. Pay it off early if you want and you're in. Let's get to work. And if you're not interested in the referral side, it's not available to you because I didn't offer it to you. If you're not interested in the referral side, then you better just get to work and hustle like I, you know, so for example, that's what, that, that's where I was. I can't remember who commented that. Yeah, Billing, uh, David and Gilda. Um, I, when I learned that Renatus, you know, in my eyes, it was an MLM. I know it's not an MLM now, but in my eyes back then, um, I thought Renatus was an MLM. And I said, dude, the, the guy who introduced me to this, his name is Mitch. I said, Mitch, I am not joining your stupid real estate MLM. That was literally the words out of my mouth. And, um, and, and, I, and he said, oh, you don't have to. You do not have to. You do not have to, to do that. Just, just focus on real estate. And I said, okay, fine. And so I joined, right? So, yeah, I mean, tomato, tomato. How can you say there's no interest if there's a $500 upcharge for financing? So just like, so we've all heard, we've all been to nationals and we've heard like Woody Woodward say, hey guys, if you want to do my program, it's, it's uh, $2,000 or three payments of, uh, I, what is that? Will be or three payments of eight hundred dollars, and that would come out to twenty four hundred dollars. Okay, and so uh, I, I say a little similar. I say, hey, it's either two thousand dollars or you can you can pay twenty five hundred dollars over eighteen months with a minimum of four hundred dollars down. Right, no interest. And, you know, because it's true, there is no interest. Um, but yeah, you can say cash discount, yeah, w whatever you want. Everyone qualifies. Yeah. Because
because they're over eggs. I mean, yeah, yeah, whatever. You, technically speaking, based on the government agencies of how they classify an MLM, Renatus is technically not an MLM. It is a direct sales. But sure, it's, yeah, you guys get it. <laughs> all right, cool. Love you all. I'll see you all next week. I hope that helps. Talk to you soon.